Okay, we have a box with a mass of 45 kilograms, and it's just on the floor that has a coefficient of static friction of 0 0.6. And we want to know what force is required to move this box. Well, we know that static friction is the force that holds things from moving or keeps things from moving. So we need to figure out what the force of static friction is, because in order for something to move, the force of static friction has to be equal to the force applied. So we want the applied force to be equal to the force of static friction. So in order for something to move, the applied force has to be equal or greater than the force of static friction. We know the force of static friction is given by the normal force F sub n times the coefficient of static friction. Well, we're given the coefficient of static friction. What we're not told is what is the normal force. Well, we can figure out the normal force by Newton's second law. So, we'll take a look at our box. And here, we have force going downwards. That force is gravity. But then we also have a force going upwards. That's the force that the ground exerts up onto the box. Make that more straight there. And we said that it is the normal force. Well, by Newton's second law, let's write down Newton's second law. F net equals mass times acceleration. Well, there's no acceleration in the horizontal direction, so we can assume that F net equals mass times zero, which equals zero. We also know that the net force then is equal to the normal force minus the gravitational force, which equals zero. This implies then, by advanced mathematics, that Fn equals Fg. And we know that Fg equals mg, so this has to equal mg. Okay, well, let's do some math then. Well, Fn then is 45 times 9.8. So what you do, kind of pull out the calculator here. 45 times 9.8 Point eight is 441 newtons. And now we can find the coefficient of static friction. Not the coefficient, but the force of friction by taking the normal force, 441, times the coefficient of friction, which was 0 0.6. And that gives you 246.6 newtons. That means you need to apply a force of 246.6 newtons or greater in order to get this box to move.